Okay, we have how many orbitals in the third shell? You can see the answer there already, but let's break it down. If we didn't just know the formula as they give us, or just n squared in n equals three. So the one this is referring to is that when you're actually doing like an electron configuration, they're asking you how many orbitals really are in like when you have the third shell. So we know that there's 3s, 3p, and 3d, okay? Funny enough, 3s only has one orbital if you did the orbital notation. 3p has three, okay? When you did the orbital notation, that's how you have 3p6, for example, and 3s2. The common thing here is that for every um, orbital, two electrons can fit in there. And in 3d, if you remember, it's 3d10. So it actually have five orbitals. So not only were we able to show it through just using the equation of n squared, okay, we can actually now do it like this as well, to where um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This works as well. Unfortunately, my method has limits um, because theoretically there are orbitals that go past the f orbital. So drawing it out only typically works till literally like the fourth orbital because then we have 4s, 4p, 4d, and 4f. And that would be 1, 3, 5, and f is 7. And if you add them all together, 9 plus 7 is 16, which also makes sense when we square it. But if I said on the fifth orbital, for example, there's some orbitals that we don't really talk about because technically now we're going into like other parts that aren't really covered. But theoretically there we say that thing has 25 orbitals. Where does that come from? We don't really know. Based on this equation though, that's all we can say. So that this is correct. And it is going to equal nine, all right? And now for questions.